Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday, there was so much MGA doll news. There was Bratz, Rainbow High, Shadow High, OMG, everything was leaking yesterday. And the leaks continued into today because we got some more pictures of Shadow High Series 2. This line has been very anticipated. I covered the art when we first got them. I covered the first three dolls that we got. But now we've finally gotten to see all three of the other dolls. Yesterday, we got to see Purple Braids Girl. We're going to be talking about her again because there's some more pictures of her. And we also finally, at long last, got to see our alien girl. God, I love the alien so much. <laughs> None of these characters have names, so I'm just referring to them as their traits, pretty much. Uh, we also got some more pictures of the boy from the line, so we're going to be talking about him as well. And uh, once again, keep in mind that these photos are all leaks, so if they don't look the best, that's why. So with that, let us begin. Starting us off with a reminder, this is what the Purple Braids girl looked like in the photo that we saw yesterday, and today we got some better angle shots of her. We can see just how graphic her makeup is. I really love it. We can see more of her in general. She's wearing a necklace. I can kind of make out the shape of her earrings a bit better. We also got this close-up of her shoes. I saw someone comment that this doll would look better with boots, and I do agree. Her legs just look kind of bare. I don't know. I just feel like maybe like some socks, like knee-high, thigh-high socks, some boots, just anything. The heels do feel a bit boring, but the doll is still gorgeous. I really like her. But of course, she's not the sole focus of this video. I just wanted to bring those up because I do like talking about when I can, like when more pictures of a doll comes out that people are excited for. It's fun. I like to keep people up to date if I can. Getting off topic though. You guys want to see the alien and here she is. The first picture we got was from Doll Obsession 2022 and <laughs> I love her so much. Oh my god, this doll is amazing. I absolutely love the finger waves she has going on. I love those two little circles above her eyebrows. Like, what is even the purpose of that? It just looks so good, though. And that's just a close-up of her face. This is sort of more zoomed out, so we can see her other features as well. I love her. I love her so much. I absolutely love her eyeliner. I love everything going on. I love the glitter makeup. I love those two white lines in her makeup, too. I don't know what to call those. I'm not well-versed in makeup terms, so it, I can't refer to everything accurately. I don't even know if I was referring to her edges correctly by calling those finger waves. They might not be. I'm just trying to remember things I've heard and try and associate them with what I think they are. But, you know, I could be easily be wrong. I did notice that she's not wearing earrings here. I don't remember if she ever was in her artwork, but... There's a chance that she will have earrings and they're just missing. I also really appreciate the face mold that they gave her. Like, I don't think it's the alien head, ironically. <laughs> you know, the Margot head mold, the skinnier, slimmer face. At least, it, when you put them all next to each other, maybe her face is slimmer, actually. I don't know. But whatever face mold she has really works for her. <clears throat> Something is in my throat. That's cool. Not like I'm trying to talk or anything. But I just love her so much. This is a more zoomed out photo of her. We unfortunately did not get a full body shot. We don't know what her shoes look like. But I love her so much. I just love how it looks like she's wearing an actual astronaut. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I'm just gonna drink some water. As I was saying, I really like her jacket. It looks like an astronaut uniform. I've seen some people complain about her skirt being the same color as her, but as long as it doesn't look like she's walking around with no pants on, it's fine. The color is different enough that it doesn't blend in with her skin tone. Like, obviously the skirt is, like, very close in color to the greenish, minty skin tone she has, but it's different enough. It's different enough. Um, I've seen a lot of people also complain about the tinsel in her hair. I gotta be real with y'all, tinsel is annoying, but I don't mind it that much. I do complain about it sometimes, like with um, Margot, since I got her recently. It was in a lot. That's how I- it's the only reason I got her. She was just in a lot with something that I wanted in it. And I will admit the tinsel does make her hair a lot harder to um, clean the glue out of, to clean in general. 
I've kind of just been putting it off because I'm dreading it. But with her, I don't think it'll be that bad. Her hair is pretty much styled this way on purpose anyway. You know, because that's her hairstyle. Of course, it's done on purpose. What am I talking about? I love her, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I think this doll was gorgeous. I absolutely love her eye color. I love everything. I am kind of sick of them drawing black lines on the lips, though. I don't know. It just pisses me off when they do that. It's fine, though. Uh, here we also have a picture of the boy, and he's wearing the cringiest sweater ever. I don't sparkle. I just have shade. Anti-sparkle, sparkle. I'm going to throw something off a bridge. I. <laughs> what is up with Rainbow High and these cringy sweaters? Like, with Junior High Amaya, it's fine because she's in junior high. In middle school, we all wear cringy things. I had a shirt that said, someone cares, not me, but someone, and I would wear that shit all the time. Why did I wear it all the time? I called it my therapy shirt. Whenever my friends came over to vent about their problems, I put that shirt on. They loved it. They thought it was hilarious. But, like, why did I do that? So, yeah, middle schoolers wear cringy things. Amaya wearing that... Uh, fashion thing, I don't remember what it even says anymore, is fine. But Kaya's, I heart you, but I've chosen fashion, was cringe. And I'm sorry, as cool as this guy looks, it's cringe. Oh, also, it's hard to see, but he only has one eyebrow. That's because this is a sample, a rejected factory sample stolen from the factory. So, you know, he wasn't done. They didn't put his other eyebrow on yet. <laughs> um, I have seen comparisons of the new boy's face mold with Rivers, and ashes. I don't remember where I saw that though, because I can't find the picture again to save my life. Their faces are all different. So he doesn't have the river face mold, but he doesn't have the ash face mold either. I'm guessing they just made him a unique one. I don't know. His head is also flocked, I believe. I don't think they rooted any hair in because he has like this sort of like shaved haircut. So I believe his head is entirely flocked. I could be wrong. I can't, I once again can't find the pictures of the back of his head, but I have seen them before. He's cool. Like, would I get him? Probably not, just because I don't like Rainbow High Boys. I owned River briefly and I sold him. I didn't want him anymore. And I feel like it would just end up being the same with this guy. It'd be the same with Ash if I bought him. Like, I just, I'm not that into boy dolls. I only collect Monster High Boys and Ever After High Boys pretty much. But he is cool. I could admit that he has a pretty good design. The hoodie's cringe. I have to bring it up again. The hoodie is cringe. But it's fine. Overall, these three look really good together. I don't know. I thought that they would clash more. But we've seen all of the Shadow High Series 2 artworks together before. And in my opinion, it looks good. I really don't think it clashes that much. I think that these dolls all look really good together. Maybe it's the purple girl in the middle tying it all together, though. I really feel like she's just such a good doll. They did such a good job with her. She's absolutely gorgeous. Her and the alien. Mwah, my absolute beloveds. I need them on release day. Uh, but I also need Glitch on release day. Okay, it's good that these dolls are back to being 25 each because... <laughs> You know, I don't want to be dropping 30 each. I know it's just a $5 difference, but $5 can go a really long way. Like, um, what am I saying? If you want to buy the whole line of six dolls, yeah. If you want to buy the whole line, now that they're 25, you get them one doll. Have you ever had a dream when you, where you... Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. It's like, what time is it? 6.30. Wow. I just took my last math final and it- my last- my math final and it fried all my brain cells. But I love this doll. I love her. I love this doll so much. And I would like to propose a headcanon. Alien girl uses she slash they pronouns. That's she, her, and they, them. I, I think it's pretty good. I think that's canon. I- I- I'm right. I'm always right. This character uses the she, they. That's that's my headcanon. And her, I don't know, but I love her. <laughs> I'd like to humbly apologize for my inane ramblings during this video. I just really wanted to talk about these, and I'm not the best at commentary. I honestly just make these videos to get my thoughts in order on the dolls, 
And 90% of the time, it doesn't work because I just end up rambling about something unrelated like I'm doing right now. As always, though, uh, feel free to comment your thoughts on the dolls that we've seen today. What do you like? What do you dislike? What, do you, what would you change if you could? Since they make those mini accessory studio things, since there's so many existing pe- like pieces at Rainbow High, in the Rainbow High Shadow High line, I feel like if you want to switch a doll's pieces out, it's more easy than it would be with, like, There's a lot of doll lines. I don't know. I feel like it would be easy to switch out the pieces with Rainbow High because of how much is available to you, though. Like, if I want to give my Purple Braid girl some, like, boots, I could probably find some for her. I don't know. It wouldn't be that difficult. But yeah, I'm rambling once again. As always, thank you guys all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!